today we're going to be looking at how a stationary wave is formed. For the purposes of this video, imagine that we have a piece of string which, have, which we have fixed to a point, for instance, it could be a wall or it could be a hanging weight on the side. Now let's send a progressive wave down this piece of string. Just as the progressive wave is heading towards the fixed point, let me just remind you that I've included a link to this website where you can have a play with this animation yourself. It's an incredibly well done animation to illustrate the formation of um, stationary waves. But our progressive wave, wave is nearly at the fixed point. Let's see what happens. At the very moment when the, our progressive wave is a about to strike the fixed point just there, we're going to see that the incident wave is being reflected. Now, when the incident wave is reflected, the incident wave is going to superpose with the incoming wave. We can see that just there. As I put this in slow motion, we can see in slow motion that process of interference. The interference will actually produce a pattern formed of nodes and anti-nodes, which is actually our standing wave, our stationary wave. We can clearly see both the incident wave over here, we can also see the reflected wave traveling in the opposite direction, and we can see the resulting pattern of a stationary wave. Okay, folks, well, this is uh, our very, very typical question on how a stationary wave is formed. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this makes sense. Don't let me know. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.